there's a couple of concepts that come to my mind with this, Ryan, and I, I talk, yeah, and these concepts are things that come through personal experience of it as well. One is change, and there's a natural human reaction to change. It brings uncertainty. Often, like you said, outside of your own decision process, it forces you out your comfort zone when you might not have been expecting it. All the things that come up, so you get you get that natural human reaction to to change, and you know what skills and resilience you've got in dealing with that, which you build up over time. And the second and most important thing, and it resonates a bit with what we've we've talked about, is circles of control. And I know we we talk about this quite a bit, but with, within that, and like you said, there's decisions have been made, things are happening, the ball is rolling. What can you control and what can't you? And as with everything, it's how you react to it. Yep. So no matter what is removed, no matter what you're given, it's down to you to decide: Am I going to do the best I possibly can do with whatever this new situation is? Or am I going to take my eye off the ball and try and cling on to what was there that kind of ultimately shoots yourself in the foot because you're not doing the best with, with what you've got? And I've I've gone through numerous, and it, it's weird. One way I'd say my job almost has never changed because the skills I use are the same skills and I build and develop and I go on with them. And secondly, it's changed a lot because the actual subject matter has changed more times than I can count as I've worked in, you know, fast growing organisation, lots of change, things happen with it. And the thing I learned quite early on and then reinforced myself is almost no matter what challenge I'm given, make the best out of it. Because if you can make the best, if you can deliver on whatever that thing is, people will see that and they will want to utilise you here, there, everywhere. It, it, it creates opportunity by being a yes I can do type of person and that's not to say that when you get given something your immediate thought should be right what's next but it's, it's that kind of whole being ready mentality is just giving whatever it is how big it is how small it is whatever it's involved in and I've, I've had changes have happened that completely ego driven within the, the constructs of the the kind of industry you work in people be like oh well that's a demotion or I but it's, it's how you frame it because actually and we talked about this before, every job in every organization you know, you gave your view there rather than the, the kind of kitchen uh, behind the doors type of thing. Every job is important and the business needs yeah. every job to be done to its best. So whatever you're given, they've given it to you because they want you to do your best at delivering on that. And if you do, that will, that again, it opens doors, it opens opportunities. People want to come to you for help. And I think that knowing that and doing that and living and breathing that is back to your thing about this situation is, is really really important because ultimately businesses organizations charities teams whatever you're whatever you're involved in they need things to happen and sometimes that will be things that lean to what you want to do in your strengths and sometimes it's things that might not but they're the things that need doing and i think as much as you can and should shape what you do around what you like and push for what's important also be aware of well what does you know, what does my boss need? What does the team need? What do my friends need? And be adding that value. And I think you can do the same concurrently. And I think if you're in that space, that just, again, back to the, the pride thing. I think pride comes from doing a good job far more than what the job is.